All right, just finished the first half of this week's work two and a half weeks out from the USAPL Newport Open, and I'm dealing with some issues right now. So what you're gonna see are some squats and deadlifts, and that's literally all I did on each of these days, just the main top sets, and I backed off of all accessory work, just because as you know, I've been dealing with some issues in my left shoulder with my AC joint, and now this Sunday I woke up and my right forearm was really painful, and in fact, it still is to extend it all the way, so I ended up wearing a compression sleeve on my arm during a lot of the pulls. Now that being said, my main goal here is to be as healthy as I can for this meet coming up. I'm not that far out from it. Once I'm done, I'll focus on rehabbing and making sure that I'm completely healthy. But in the meantime, while I'm not necessarily making gains on the platform behind me, where I'm making gains is where it really counts. And that's on this beard, check it out, check out this growth. This is like two and a half weeks, which for me is an extremely long time, given my work responsibilities and also the fact I've been in a couple of weddings the last couple of weeks. I really try to trim my beard in the most part for every three to four days. So going for two and a half weeks without shaving is a big deal for me. I'm gonna try to keep going till the meat itself, maybe come in with a nice handlebar mustache. We'll see if the wife lets me do that. But where I'm also making gains is on the scale. So I'm about eight pounds up from my last meet as well. You guys know I'm using the digital body analyzer from Vanity Planet. I did a video on this before. It measures a lot of things from not only your weight, but the percent of muscle you're carrying to the water, to the bones, all sorts of different things. And while no scale is 100% accurate, it's really good that it gives you a lot of these options just because you can consistently see how the numbers are changing as you're gaining weight. So I, I have liked using it quite a bit. And if you want one, you can use the link in the description box to get 60% off using Campbell Fit. It's an official fitness YouTube discount code. It ends up being like 50 bucks, and I've enjoyed using it a lot. Now, that being said, even though I'm not doing a lot of accessory work, I still am trying to get my main compounds in, and I'm pushing the numbers as much as I can. So let's get to the workout training footage from squats and deadlifts these past two days.